I'm Hiro Yamada, a 20-year-old sophomore. Back in elementary school, I had to move to the countryside because of my parents' work, but now I'm in Tokyo for college. Next assignments on natural sciences, huh? Uh, and the scope's huge. I'm gonna need to do a ton of research. Huh? Wait a sec, is that? Yeah, let's hit the next class together. Or better yet, let's ditch. I know a sweet cafe nearby. Yeah, no thanks. She's Emma Takano, another sophomore like me. Stunning looks, a student, total goddess. But she's notorious for keeping guys at arm's length. And the dude who just got shot down is... Chato Yabasugi. He's way too friendly for his own good, but he's in our year too. <laughs> Cold as ice. Hey, what are you looking at? Wait, don't tell me you're into Emma too. Uh, no. <laughs> Whatever. If you're that curious, how about you join our mixer tonight? Huh? We're one guy short, and guess what? Emma's coming. Be there at 7, Tokimeki Izakaya. Don't be late. W uh, wait a sec. Man, this guy's always dragging me into stuff. I couldn't find a good excuse to turn him down, so I ended up going. But... This guy is always lurking in the corner of the classroom, I swear. <laughs> oh, great. I'm just here to make him look better, huh? But Takano's been looking bored out of her mind this whole time. Why even bother coming to a mixer? And so, the mixer kept rolling along. An hour later... Hey, Emma, I've been thinking. You're seriously cute. How about just you and me hit up the second round? Hard pass. Aw, oh, come on, don't be like that. chato has been all over her the whole night. She looks like she's had enough. Maybe I should try distracting him. Hey, Chato, what are you ordering next? Huh? Why do you care? Just pick something for me. Come on, you're the organizer, right? Here's the menu. Shut it, man! Whoa! Huh? Wait, what's up with that scar? <laughs> oh, this? Uh, I fell out of a tree when I was a kid. Huh? <laughs> Seriously? That's so lame! Is that why you always hide it with that messy hair, huh? Hey, cool it with the booze. Don't be a jerk. I want to say though. Nah, whatever. Who cares about this guy? <laughs> so, what are we ordering? I've always hidden the scar because it's kind of obvious. But now it's out there. And what's with... Mm. Wait, why is Takano staring at me like that? Did I gross her out? Things just got super awkward. Uh, I'm gonna head out. There's this show I wanted to catch. Typical nerd. <laughs> See ya. Huh? Uh -oh. Why is she grabbing my sleeve? Uh, something wrong? Hiro Yamada, right? Uh, yeah. Did I do something to upset her? Let's get out of here. Just the two of us. What? What? Um, why me? Why is this happening? Cool. We're leaving. Ooh, bold move. Go, Emma. You're so smooth. Hey, where the heck are you two sneaking off to? Chato, man, where are you going? You're the organizer, bro. You gotta stay and see this through. Why, man? I was planning to sneak off with Emma! Wow, her hand's so small and soft. Wait, what am I thinking? Focus! Uh, Emma, where are we going? Anywhere, really. I just wanted to talk with you. <laughs> Saying stuff like that, she's totally gonna make me catch feels. So yeah, we ended up finding a quiet little cafe to sit down and talk. Uh, we came all the way here, and now it's super silent. This is awkward. I gotta say something quick. So, so uh, why'd you come to the mixer? They kind of...
kind of begged me to. Felt like if I said no, I'd be causing problems. So she was just there to fill a spot. Same as me, huh? But I'm actually glad I came. I got to meet you, Hito. Uh, wait, what do you mean by that? I want to get to know you better, Hito. Is that okay? Yeah, it's totally fine. I mean, I'm happy you even want to... Good. Uh, hey, Hito. Did you used to live around here? Uh huh? Oh, yeah. I lived here up until I was in elementary school. Then I moved away. I see. So, Hito, do you remember me? We've never really talked before, have we? Well, yeah. I know who you are, for sure. Uh, people say you're, uh, super pretty. That's it? And, uh, you're really smart, too. I see. Thanks, but I don't think that's really true. No way! I mean, I'm stuck on this assignment right now, and it's been a total pain. I'm seriously jealous of how you handle it all. Wanna study together? We could work through it, and you'd get stuff done faster. If I could study with Takano, I'd definitely get some help, but... Can I really just take advantage of her kindness like that? But wait, she's offering! I should just go for it! If it's not too much trouble for you, then yeah, I'd love to help. Of course I don't mind. Oh, but there's one condition. You've gotta call me by my name, okay? What? But uh, that's... Uh... It's Emma. Go on, come on. Uh, e Emma. <laughs> Perfect. All right then, let's do this starting tomorrow. Whoa, I've never seen her smile like that before. She's really cute. But why does she want to get close to someone like me? After that, we exchanged numbers. I got Emma a cab, and then I headed home too. One hour later. Thanks for today. See you tomorrow. Whoa, she texted me already. What should I say back? Uh, let's just go with... Thanks to you too. See you tomorrow. Yeah, this should be fine. Wait, maybe I should have sent something that'd keep the convo going longer? That night, I spent the whole time restless, constantly checking my phone, unable to relax. Next day, we grabbed lunch and talked about our assignments. Oh, I see. Thanks, that helps a lot. But man, gathering all the materials is gonna be a pain. Guess I'll just have to power through it. By the way, do you always just have bread for lunch? Yeah, I've been so busy with my part-time job. I don't really have time to make anything. Plus, I suck at cooking. Your lunch looks awesome, though. It's colorful and healthy, too. Kind of feels like something a perfect wife would pack for her husband. Uh, th thanks. You're seriously good at everything, huh? Makes me feel like I'm so different. That's not true. Huh? This morning, I saw you at the station helping that old lady with her bags. I think your kindness is one of your best traits. <gasps> she noticed. I wasn't doing it to get praise, but hearing that kind of feels nice. After that, we started having lunch together a lot more. One day, about a week into our routine. Wait, is this for me? Yep. Thanks. Whoa, this is so good. Glad you like it. Honestly, I wanted to whip this up for you earlier, but I kept messing it up. I just really wanted you to try the good stuff. Man, Emma's super sweet. She made all this for me. Honestly, I thought she'd be kind of standoffish at first, but she's way different than I expected. That day wasn't the only time my impression of Emma changed. Two weeks later. Here you go. Huh? I heard you were having a hard time gathering info, so... Whoa, she put a bunch of sticky notes on here. Emma really did this for me? Seriously, thank you! <laughs> I'm gonna put in some work, I swear! 
Uh, okay, but your hand. Huh? I said sorry. I it's fine. I got too hyped and messed up. What am I doing? After that, we kept hanging out together. I'd show Emma my assignments, and honestly, just relaxing every day was so much fun. Before I knew it, I found myself thinking about Emma a lot more. One day, the deadline for the assignment's coming up soon. If I keep this up, I might actually get a good grade. I want to thank her somehow. What's up? You've been looking all serious today. Uh, so... There's this place I want to check out for my assignment. You want to come with me, Emma? What? Oh man, I totally got carried away. Sorry, that was kind of forward. I'll just go by myself. No, I'm in. I'm totally down. R really? Then let's meet up this weekend. I'll hit you up with the details later. Sure thing. I've got class right after this, so I'll see you later. I can't believe I made plans with Emma. This is definitely a date, right? Yo, Hero! Uh, whoa, Chato, what's up? You're looking pretty cocky lately, huh? Huh? You seem super cozy with Emma. Are you guys, like, dating? N no it's not like that. Emma and I are just... Uh... Right, right, I get it. <laughs> a dude like you with a girl like her? No way that's happening. Ugh. Don't get the wrong idea, man. Emma needs a handsome dude like me, not a quiet guy like you. Yeah, I know I'm kind of average and a nerd, but I can't help but feel I really like Emma. And then the weekend finally rolled around. Did I keep you waiting? No, I just got here. Whoa, she's rocking a hat today. Super cute. It looks kind of worn in, but maybe it's her favorite. Hito? Oh, uh, nothing. Let's head inside. So, me and Emma hit up the museum and... Whoa, I read about this stuff in textbooks, but seeing it in person hits different. Emma's eyes are totally sparkling. Check that out! Huh? Where? I'm really glad I invited her. A few hours later. Today was super educational. I'm gonna whip up a solid report. For sure. I'm feeling pumped too. I want to do something to show my gratitude. Wait, I got it! Emma, uh, there's this awesome open cafe with amazing views over there. Look, right there. Want to check it out? Um... Emma? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wait, what's up with her? She seems a bit off. Uh... Um... Emma? Huh? No, no it's nothing. Oh, let's just go, Hudo. But it felt like something soft bumped into me. Huh? Emma, you look kind of pale. N nothings wrong. Wait, could it be? Emma, are you scared of heights? Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. I shouldn't have invited you. Let's find somewhere else. There are plenty of cute cafes outside. No, no it's fine. Just having you next to me. Like that time. Hey, Emma! Fancy seeing you here! Chato, what are you doing here? Well, this place is perfect for checking out the info for my assignment, so I thought I'd swing by. Uh. Hey, Emma, you look kind of down. Wait, is it because Hero's such a snooze? The dude's a total nerd, no friends, and doesn't know how to handle girls, right? <laughs> uh, hey, that's true, but... Come on, Emma, ditch that loser and hang out with me instead. I... I'm... Oh! Emma's hat! It's up there! What am I gonna do? Eh, who cares? You look kinda old anyway. I'll buy you a new one, no worries! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> that hat's super special to me! There's no replacement! 
Whoa, chill. Don't get so serious. Uh, that old hat doesn't mean that much, does it? And just so we're clear, it's not my fault the hat flew away. Wow, it really means a lot to her. I'm really sorry, Emma. Uh, can you wait here for a sec? Huh? I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Here goes. Here you know. I got this. Don't worry. I haven't climbed a tree in ages, but it looks like I still got the skills. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much, Hiro. T to be honest, I'm kind of scared of heights. I wasn't sure what to do about the hat. Don't worry. Anytime you need something, just hit me up. <gasps> this has got to be fate. Huh? Hiro, I... Uh? Hey! Yo, Hero! Don't get too cocky now! I could have done that too, you know! Wait, what? Where's this coming from? Whatever! Emma, give me that hat! I'll show you I can do it too! Just let me try! No! Stop it! I don't want you touching my hat, Chato! Whoa, what? No need to freak out over it! Uh, yeah, Emma's right. Maybe think about her feelings a little more. Sh shut up! What's with you two? I'm out of here! When I was in elementary school, something kind of like this happened. A boy tried to grab my hat for me, but he fell from the tree and ended up with a scar on his forehead. Ever since then, even just looking at heights freaks me out. Hat? Falling from a tree? Wait a sec, could it be? That day after school when I was a kid. <laughs> Somebody help me! Hey, what's wrong? My hat got blown away by the wind. I tried to get it, but now I can't get down. It was a gift from my grandma. I was so happy, but it's too big for me, and I wasn't even supposed to wear it yet. I see. Don't worry, I'll get you down. Just hang tight. It's all good now. Here, step down nice and slow. <laughs> okay. Just put your feet where I am and you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I'll grab your hat now. Uh, but... It's fine. Just wait right there. But when I went to grab the hat, I slipped and fell from the tree. Luckily, an adult passing by took me to the hospital, but I ended up with a scar on my forehead. So it really was you, Hiro. You were the boy who helped me that day. I told my parents, and we looked everywhere for you, but we couldn't find you. I'm really sorry about what happened back then, and I feel awful that you got hurt because of me. Hey, it's no big deal. As long as you were okay, I don't even think about it. Thanks. But wow, I can't believe we ran into each other again like this. I moved away right after that. Yeah, but we found each other again. That's gotta be fate, right? <laughs> Maybe so. And that's how I reunited with the girl I helped back in elementary school. A few days later, the rumor started spreading that Chato tried to crash our date. Apparently, some students were hanging around the area when it happened. On top of that, his clueless comments ticked everyone off, and word has it that his mixer hasn't been going well either. As for me and Emma, Hey Emma, I've never really said this properly before, but I like you. I want to be with you. Will you go out with me? What? Of course, silly. I already thought we were dating. So, you're coming to meet my parents after this, right? Huh? Well, we gotta make sure we can stay together forever. Right, darling? And just like that, I ended up heading over to her place to officially start dating the girl I once saved as a kid. No way I'm letting her out of my life again. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!